Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Amen. It's a good day, and we are glad to be coming your way on this special Mother's Sunday. Hallelujah. Cheers to our mothers all over the world. You have been the strength of the home. You have been the power behind the family. And we appreciate you, our mothers. We celebrate you today. And we thank the Lord for your lives. Hallelujah. And on this Mother Sunday, we trust that you are going to have the best and a most joyful celebration Amen. that will usher you as mothers into a new season of joy, Amen. into a new season of grace, Amen. and into a new season of celebration Hallelujah. to the glory and the praise of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you're welcome to this service coming to you on the platform of the Kingdom Life Revival Assembly. Amen. And we are your hosts, Pastor Abiodu and Inkiru Akeola. So you're welcome, and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's uh, please share this broadcast on your platforms. Create a watch party for it. Gather your family together, and let's together celebrate the Lord, honor Him, and glorify Him, for He is good, Amen. and His mercies endure it forever. Hallelujah. The joy of seeing another day, the joy of seeing another Sunday, and most importantly, the joy of celebrating our mothers. Hallelujah. We want to say to you, Ma, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. And you all will live to see many, many more years Amen. of celebrating motherhood. Amen. In good health, Amen. in sound mind, Amen. in wealth, Amen. in grace, Amen. in power. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we just lift our hands and worship the Hallelujah. Lord together? Let's give Him praise. We worship Let's him. magnify Him. We adore Let's him. glorify Him. Lord, what a mighty forever. God we serve. Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the, Lord the Great the I Am, the Everlasting the Father. Almighty, Lord, we honor you. Lord, we exalt us, you. Lord, we lift you high. We ask, Lord, that in this service the today, Lord, you will show yourself Lord, strong. You, you will you show yourself you. mighty. Thank you for, life. for the Lord God Thank in the midst of us is mighty. Mighty to save. Mighty to deliver. Thank you Mighty to set free. Lord, so, Lord, we ask that as we begin the service, Lord, your grace and your glory, Lord, will be revealed. Your power will be transmitted through this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, our Father. Holy Spirit of God, have your way in this place. Glorify the Son of God. Bless and transform the lives of men. And let your name be praised forever. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his I know. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. All other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only God. There is none like you. Hallelujah. All other gods, all other gods, the works of men. You are the only God. You are the only God. There is none like you. Hallelujah. All, all other God. God. All other gods. They 
the works of men. You are the only God. There is none like you. Hallelujah. All, all the God. All of the God. They are the works of men. Oh, yes. You are the only God. There is none like you. Unchangeable. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable. You are unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God. You are unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God. You are dependable God. to give praises to the name of our God who is the most high. And we trust that in the midst of our worship, even in terms of sharing the word, apart from the times of praises and worship, that God moves in the midst of his people Amen. and do wonders in their lives. Amen. So I expect God, God's wonders even this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mama will be bringing the word of the Lord to us this morning Hallelujah. on this wonderful Mother's Day. But before she does that, we would like to listen to the Bible reading for this service to the glory of the Most High God. 
A Bible reading this morning shall be taken from the book of John, chapter 20, and we'll be reading from verse 10 to 18. Listen and be blessed. Then the disciples went back to their homes, but Mary Magdalene stood without at the sepulchre weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre and seated two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? She said unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she had said this, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said unto him, Sir, if thou hast borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto her, Mary, she turned herself and said unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father, and your father, and to my God, and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken these things unto her. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shout out to all the mothers out there. Amen. The Lord God Almighty will bless us. Amen. The Lord will continue to cause His face to shine upon us. Amen. The Lord will cause us to walk upon our high place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are grateful to God for another celebration. Hallelujah. For the women. Amen. We are grateful to God who has spared our lives. Amen. And I know that He will continue to watch over us. Amen. And keep us. Amen. And all that the all that the Lord has packaged for us. You and I will embrace it. Amen. And with our sheep, we will come back. Amen. Praising our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the month of our grace to grace. And because today we are celebrating the mothers, our topic this morning is from grass to grace. Hallelujah. Grass to grace. From grass to grace. God is said to carry people. Amen. Out from the grass level. Amen. And to cause us to embrace grace and walk in grace. Amen. It is our season to shine as mothers. Amen. It is our season to be celebrated. Amen. It is our season to drink from the rain of heaven. Hallelujah. And the Lord God Almighty will make it so in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Remember what the Bible tells us concerning grass. Looking at the scripture from Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The grass withereth. Grass is a symbol of what men trample upon. Mm. Grass is to be gathered, is to be burnt. Mm. And so when men find themselves at the grass level, it's a pitiable situation. Wow. It's something that nobody wants to, a level that no woman wants to be kept in. Oh God. It is it is it is a symbol that attracts pity. Mm. But God is said to remove us from that grass level. Amen. But eventually the enemy has kept you at that grass level. This is your season to be lifted Amen. into grace. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. And this morning we'll be looking at three examples of women who were on that stage, that level. It looked as if the world was going to crumble upon them. It looked as if their, their story was over. But God was not done with mm. them. Mm. God was not done with them. I don't know what men has tempted you. I don't know if they've given up upon you. I don't know if you think you're the backside, at the backside of life. Mm. Rejoice, my sister. Hallelujah. This is your season. Amen. This is your season. Amen. Welcome to your season. Amen. I congratulate you, my sister. Amen. For heaven's rays are upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Grass is likened to when salt loses its taste. 
mm. and is pulled away so that men can trample upon them. Mm. The scripture also has a picture of grass in John, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire mm. and they are burned. Men gather them and cast them into the fire. In this season of grace, you will not be gathered out. Amen. You will not be burnt. Amen. You will not be put to shame. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There are so many definitions of grace. Grace has been defined to be an unmerited favor. But this morning, permit me to define grace as the entirety of God released to man. Hallelujah. God's entirety, the totality of God, the totality of mercy released to man, mm. the totality of love released to man, the totality of compassion released to man, mm. the totality of favor released to man. Christ is grace personified. And Hallelujah. so, when God wants to exalt a man, to raise the horn of a man, he allows Christ to be given to that man. Hallelujah. When we embrace Christ, the totality of Christ is released unto us. Amen. I pray that there are women there who this morning will open up their hearts to embrace grace. Amen. Because it's our season to shine. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From our Bible reading that we read in John chapter 20, verse 10 through 18. A woman was spoken about, Mary Magdalene. But let us read from Luke chapter 8, verse 2. And certain women, which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mary Magdalene. The gospel of Luke chapter 8 verse 2 tells us she had inside of her seven demons. Wow. Not one, not two, but seven demons possessed a woman. Thank God that grace found her. This morning, Grace will find you in the name Amen. of Jesus. From the woman who was possessed by seven demons. When we flipped through the chapters of scripture and we got to John chapter 20. From where we read verse 10 through 18. The Bible mentioned Mary Magdalene again. I will look at some verses of that scripture. When Mary was met. The Bible tells us in the place that we read that the disciples went. All of them came. They looked and they left. But there stood one disciple. Mm. Mary. The Bible in that place that we read said verse 11 but Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping as she wept she stooped down and looked into the tomb. Mary did not forget grace. What grace did. From the person who had demons inside of her. An encounter with grace. Made her a new person. Mm. Changed her into a new person. <clears throat> and so by the time. It was the, the, the time for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mary had followed grace. Mary followed grace. Mary was walking with grace. Mary did not allow the work of grace to be in vain. And so on this particular day, when Mary came, the Bible made us to understand the activities of Mary that day. The Bible says that Mary stood. Grace is not something you encounter and you run away. Mm. When you embrace grace, you continually stand with grace. Mary stood on that day. Mary wept because Mary's heart has been touched. Mary's heart is melted. 
Mm. Mary had mm. become a broken woman. Hallelujah. Mary had become somebody whose heart has become a heart of flesh. My sister, do you have a heart of flesh? My brother that is watching, because this is not particularly for women, mm. do you have, how broken is your heart? The mm. Bible says that Mary stood, Mary wept, Mary stooped, she bent down, she bent down. Where are our knees, my sisters? Mm. How long have you been bending? And you think nothing has been happening. Continue to stoop low. When you stoop, God knows how to raise you. Let our knees be stooped to the ground. And the Lord himself will raise us. Hallelujah. Amen. And when she stooped, she looked. When she looked, verse 13 of that place said, of Luke, of John chapter 20, the Bible says, Then said then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord. Mm. And I do not know where they have laid him. Mary owned the Lord. Wow. Look at that statement. He said, Where have they taken? They have taken away my Lord. Mary personalized her Lord. Is Jesus Christ your own person? Have you owned the Lord? Mary did not forget from where she was coming from. The work of grace inside of her. She said, they have taken away my Lord. Is he your Lord? Who is your Lord? Mm. If you must be raised mm. by grace, when grace embraces you, when grace deals with you, do you embrace grace as Lord? Or do you cast away the Lord? He said, they have taken away my, my Lord. Lord. Is he your Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is he your Lord? And he went ahead to say, in verse 15, he said, Jesus, not knowing that it was Jesus he was talking to, he said, Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, she, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Mm. Look at such gracious words. Can you read for me Colossians chapter 4, verse 6? Where let, they, Colossians let your 4, verse speech 6. be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Mm. That let our 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 yes. words be seasoned with grace, that you might know how to answer every man. The scripture told us that Mary, <coughs> supposing that he was, she was speaking to a gardener, put that appellation, sir. Mm. How many of us women have gracious words inside of us? Even to a gardener, she didn't despise. She is supposing him to be a gardener. Mm. Still use the appellation, sir. If you have taken him, please kindly bring him. Let me take him away. Sir, how gracious, my sister, how gracious are your words? Are your words seasoned with grace? Mm. I want to remind us that the scriptures cannot be broken. He said, so that you might know how to address every man. Mm. And the scripture went ahead to tell us, in verse, in verse 16, Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him, Rabboni. Jesus did not need to call Mary twice. Just one call. Mm. And Mary recognized the voice of the master. Can you... Or do you recognize the voice of the master? The Bible talked about the sheep recognizing the voice of the master. The sheep knows the voice of the master. Are you, my sister, recognizing even your master, the husband that the Lord God Almighty has placed above us, do you recognize him as a master? Mm. How much more you recognizing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Jesus did not need to call Mary twice. Jesus just said, 
called her Mary once and she responded, Hallelujah. Master. And Jesus said to her, Hallelujah. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father and to my God and your God. Mm. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. Mm. Jesus saw John chapter 20 verse 18 written. Jesus saw John chapter 20 verse 17 written. Because the scripture tells us he knows the end from the beginning. Mm. The Lord knows the end from the beginning. So God himself had known that Mary was to be commissioned. Mary was a sent one. But the demons did not know the intentions of Christ. They felt, let us ridicule this one. Let us useless this life. Let us make this, let us make this one to be despicable. Not to, not to amount to anything. The demons possessed her. But hallelujah. Glory to God. Grace. In the heart of grace, in the eyes of grace, in the eyes of Christ, was the picture. Amen. Written that one day Mary will be sent to the disciples. Glory to God. I don't know where the enemy has put you. I don't know what the enemy thinks he has done to your life. But mm. rejoice, my sister. Hallelujah. Because your day has come. Amen. Grace has remembered you. Amen. And God is removing us from every grass picture, Amen. every grass level, Amen. and translating us into grace Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. From a woman who was possessed by demons to becoming a woman who Jesus could send. Everything made new. Everything made new. Thank you, Lord. Grace makes new. Mm. Grace beautifies. Grace brings out glory from the one who was rejected to becoming the one who was sent. From today, may the Lord find us to be sent in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. May we become vessels that can be sent in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord send you as a woman. Amen. May the Lord give you a message as Amen. a woman. Amen. May the Lord's counsel be in your mouth in the name of Jesus. I pray for you this morning that the Lord God Almighty will find us fit to be sent in the name of Jesus. Amen. That our mouths will season, that our words will season with grace. Amen. And when he says us, we will carry that message to wherever in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. That is the picture of what grace can do. Mm. I take another template from the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 5. Mm. And Salmon begat Booz of Rechab, and Booz begat Obed of Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse. Salmon the father of Joas, whose mother was Rahab. Mm. Grace. So Matthew chapter 1 verse 5. But this story beca began in Joshua chapter 2 verse 9 to 13. Joshua chapter 2. The book of Joshua chapter 2. And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land and that your terror is falling upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you. Hallelujah. When he came out of Egypt, and what he did unto the two kings of the Amorites, Amen. that were on the other side of Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom he utterly destroyed. And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man mm. because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above Hallelujah. and in earth beneath. Amen. Now therefore I pray you, swear unto me by the Lord, mm. since I have shown you kindness, mm. that you will also show kindness unto my father's house Amen. and give me a true token. Amen. And that you will save alive my father Amen. and my mother. Amen. And my brethren, Amen. and my sisters, Amen. and all that they have, Amen. and deliver our lives from death. 
Hallelujah. Amen. In the eyes of grace, Matthew chapter 1 verse 5 was written. Rahab came in the picture of the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Mm. But her story be began in Joshua chapter 2 from where we read from verse 9 to 13. A harlot. Mm. A harlot. A woman who goes after men. She was a harlot. I don't know the name that the world has given to you or circumstances of life has given to you. But this morning, that name will change. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In her harlotry, her heart was still soft. The Bible says she has heard. When she encountered the spies, she told them, by the hearing of our ears, we have heard what our God had done, your God had done. What we heard melted our hearts. Even as the harlot, her heart was still soft. Her heart was still melted by the stories that she had had about this God she had not encountered. Her heart was melted. She heard, she knew that there was something different about this particular God. And her heart was melted. I want to ask us this morning, do you know this grace? Do you know Jesus? Have you heard about him? If you have heard about him, what are you doing with what you have heard? For those of us who are born again, mm. the much you have heard about grace, the much you have heard about Christ, what are you accomplishing with grace? Mm. What are you doing with grace? Rahab was a harlot. She had not come into grace. She had not encountered grace. But she had a heart that was longing for something more. That was looking for something more. She knew that where she was, she ought not to be there. And so thank God for this day that the spies came. And she knew that destiny had come knocking at her door. Mm. She was able, she was sensitive enough to know that today was her day. That Hallelujah. day was her day. Hallelujah. She welcomed the spies. She began to tell them, I know there is something different. I have heard. And when we heard these stories, our hearts melted. But promise me something. Look at the heart of a harlot. She was, she was, she had a hard heart, so large enough. She said, I know that our God, this God that I do not know, will do something. But when he mm. does this work, promise me something. That you will accommodate all that I bring in. Mm. All that I bring in. Child of God, daughter of God, you have grace. But you are yet to accommodate people. You have grace. You maltreat, you mistreat your house help. You have grace inside of you. But nobody can eat from that which the Lord has blessed you. But behold the har harlot. She said, I know a day of visitation is coming. Mm. Promise me something. That my brothers will come. That my sisters will come in. That my brethren will come in. Do you know that as many that ran under the shadow, under the umbrella of Rahab that day, they were saved. As many, as many that hearkened to her voice to say, something is about to happen. Mm. Come into this fold. As many that came into that fold became saved. Dear woman of God, dear daughter of Zion, who are we bringing into grace? If you have tested grace, who are we accommodating in this grace? Who are we nurturing in this grace? Mm. If a harlot could open up a door of salvation, a door of redemption to as many that came under her umbrella that day, we are able to do much more. I pray for you and as I, as, as I pray for myself too, the capacity to do much more for grace the Lord will give to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Her level 
her grace level was that of a harlot. Mm. But God, grace translated her wow. and put her in the picture where Jesus was born. Amen. In the picture, in the lineage of Christ, mm. in the lineage of grace, mm. God had seen ahead and had seen Matthew chapter 1 verse 5 written mm. and spoiled the work of the enemy Clue. in the life of Rahab. This morning, may the Lord spoil every work Amen. of the enemy Amen. over our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. The last example I'll be looking at this morning is taken from the book of John, chapter 4, verse 4 to 30. It's a long read. The woman of Samaria. We are now reading the whole passages. The Samaritan woman. But permit me to pick some scriptures from that place. Jesus needed to pass through Samaria because the Samaritan woman season had come. Hallelujah. Because Jesus needed to do a work in the life of the Samaritan Glory woman. To God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. That those who do not know grace can encounter grace. Amen. Jesus needed to pass through because a change needed to come into a life. Hallelujah. And so when Jesus came to that well by Samaria and saw that woman of Samaria there, the scripture said in that place that she told her, give me a drink in verse 7. Give me a drink. I want to ask us this morning, the Bible says that Jesus is the water of life. Does the water of life need to ask drink from a human being? No. Mm. The scripture makes us to understand that he's, he has gathered the waters in the hollow of his hands. The one who has the waters in the hollow of his hands, does he need water? Mm. He does not need water. But Jesus had seen the Samaritan woman. And Jesus had known that in the Samaritan woman, there is the ministry of the evangelist inside this woman. And so Jesus mm. asked for that evangelistic drink. Glory to the you. book of Ephesians chapter 4. Can you read for me verse 10 and 11? Ephesians 4. Yes. 10, 10 and 11. 11. He, had, he that descended is the same also that ascended up, far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and teachers. He that descended, it was grace that descended. Mm. It was grace that ascended, that he might apportion these offices to us. And so Jesus, the one who descended and ascended, knew that the office of an evangelist had been given to the Samaritan woman. Hallelujah. Who did not recognize that? She didn't know that inside of her was evangelism. Written, embedded, an office of an evangelist was inside of her. And Jesus asked her, give me a drink. Thank God that she recognized that this one who was asking me for a drink is no ordinary person. She said, you're the prophet. You have this drink. I need that drink also from you. And the scripture going down that story, the Bible told us that after that encounter, she left her water pot. Mm. She went to the village. She told the men who are her constituency. Wow. Remember, that, you remember that Jesus asked her, Call me your husband. And she said to her, I don't have a husband. And Jesus said, you have already married five. Mm. The one that you're living with is not your husband. Mm. Jesus recognized that the enemy was turning aside the gift of God that was inside of her and using it negatively. She was jumping from man to man. Wow. And Jesus came and said, no, enough. The enemy cannot begin to spoil, cannot continue to spoil the work that I have done in this life. And this morning I tell us, 
in the name of Jesus that every work of the enemy over our lives is cut short in the name of Jesus. Amen. That Satan will no longer make progress Amen. in afflicting the people of God, Amen. in afflicting the women of God, Amen. in afflicting daughters of Zion Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Jesus came to cut short the work of the enemy. Mm. She left her water pot and straight into the village she met the men. She mm. told her original constituency, come and see the one who has told me everything about my life. Wow. And the Bible told us that the men followed her. Mm. When a man follows Christ, automatically the wife will follow. Automatically the children will follow. So practically, the woman of Samaria turned the whole city to Christ. Hallelujah. The drink of the office of an evangelist came forth because of an encounter to grace, an encounter with grace. Behold these three pictures of these women that have shown mm. us this morning. The enemy felt they were at the grass level. The enemy felt he had finished with them. He had concluded on them. Mary Mandeline had demons inside of her. Rahab was into halotry. Mm. The woman of Samaritan was also dealing with men adultery. into adultery. But the Lord, who is grace personified, who had descended, who has ascended, that he might obtain gifts, that he might change our lives, that he might change our stories, encountered them. And Mary became the saint one. Hallelujah. This morning, may the Lord commission us. Amen. May the Lord send us with his message. Amen. May his message not be far away from our lips Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. May every negative story be turned around in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty cause us to be symbols of grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. That will become the people that he has called us to be. Amen. Rahab was able to gather men to be saved, families, brothers, sisters, brethren. Mm. This morning, God is looking upon us as women. He's calling us into accommodating men, accommodating multitudes, accommodating millions of people into the umbrella mm. of Christ. Do not relent. This morning, it is my prayer that the Lord God Almighty, who has come with gifts, will locate us in the name Amen. of Jesus. The Bible says in that book of John, chapter 4 that we read, he needed to pass through because it was a season of somebody. COVID-19 is somebody's season. Mm. As bleak as it looks, as black, as terrible as it looks, it is somebody's season of encountering grace. Hallelujah. It is somebody's season of becoming who you never imagined you could become. Mm. But it is my prayer that you will recognize the season as your Amen. season. And the Amen. Lord God Almighty will complete his work Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Time will permit us to look at other examples. But this morning, I hope you have been blessed looking at what grace can do in the life of men. Hallelujah. And may grace change our stories Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. May gracious words be found in our lips. Wow. Amen. Amen. Women, we are known to be cantankerous. We are known to be nagging. We are known to, to have issues with our tongue. But remember, if there's something you will remember, remember how gracious the words that proceeded out of the mouth of Mary was mm. to the gardener. He said, Sir, courteous, she was so courteous. She showed courtesy, not minding. She assumed him to be a gardener. But that mm. appellation, Sir, was not far from her lips. May the Lord touch our lips. Amen. As women in the name of Jesus. Amen. And do a work of righteousness inside of us. Hallelujah. That his name alone will be glorified. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor will be praying for women. Hallelujah. And I pray that this word has blessed you. Glory to God. And is able to bring a change in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. And for adventure you're there, my sister, and you do not know this God. 
this grace. You have not accepted this grace as your Lord and personal Savior. I plead with you. Time is running out. Stretch forth to grace that you might become who you are called to become. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I like us to put our hands together for Jesus for these gracious words that we have heard this morning. Amen. Glory to God forever. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, woman of God, for blessing us this morning. I truly have been blessed. I truly have been, you know, transformed by these words that we have heard. You know, it is usually said that what a man or who a man really is, is known, particularly in the time of crisis, in the time of pain, in the time of agony. That is when who a man really is manifests. And we look at Mary, like she has expounded to us. It was a period of pain. It was a period of agony. Her master and Lord had been killed. And now she had come to put spices on him. And she can't find him. He's been taken away. There is so much agony inside of her. So much pain inside of her. And when the Messiah started speaking to her. And she thought he was a gardener. Yet, in the midst of her pain and agony. In the midst of her broken heartedness. What still came out of her was gracious. Amen. Was a word of respect. Amen. A word of courtesy. Amen. A word of honor. Amen. Even to a lowly person in her estimation Amen. as a gardener. Grace truly transforms. Amen. Grace truly reforms. Amen. Grace truly changes a man's life and a man's destiny. Amen. And I pray that you will find grace today. Amen. I pray that grace will find you today. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for bringing this word to us today. And we believe you have been blessed. Amen. And we believe your life will never be the same again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Another very important lesson that we have drawn from this teaching today is that God wants to do whatever he intends doing on the earth. He intends doing it with men. He intends doing it with you and with me. And your prayer should be, Lord, whatever you are doing in my generation, Hallelujah. please don't do it without me. Amen. Please don't do it without me. Amen. That was what Rahab the Alot simply said to the spies. I know that your God has given you this land. Hallelujah. And I want to be part of this new move. Hallelujah. I want to be part of it. Amen. And in being part of it, she so plunged herself in that she featured in the genealogy of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Jesus came to reconcile men back to God. Hallelujah. And all these men who have been cleaving to this Samaritan woman when she met grace, Hallelujah. she redirected them back to Jesus. Amen. She didn't say, come and see or come and meet me. I have new delicacies for you. She said, no, come and meet a man who have told me all things. Mm. This is the Messiah. Hallelujah. She redirected the men away from her Amen. and reconciled them back to Jesus. Hallelujah. So mothers, our dear women, don't let any religious persons or people take you away from the plan of God for your life. Amen. God has a purpose for you. Amen. God wants to use you. Amen. So make yourself available. Amen. And God will use you as a vessel Amen. to the glory of his name. Hallelujah. I'd like to make seven proclamations, Amen. seven prophetic declarations Amen. upon our mothers today. Amen. And by the grace of God, it shall be manifested Amen. in your lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number one, mothers labor a lot. 
Mothers labor a lot. That's why we even cause what they go through in giving birth to a new seed, to a new generation. We call it labor. That they have gone into labor. They call the place where they deliver the labor room or the labor word. This is clear that mothers labor a lot. But I prophesy upon your life in the name of Jesus. that you will not labor in vain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your labor over your children. Your labor over your husbands. Amen. Your labor over your family Amen. shall not be in vain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Number two. Our mothers, our women are regarded as the weaker vessel. Weaker in terms of their strength, weaker in terms of their energy, weaker in terms of their capacity, but not weaker intellectually, not weaker spiritually. But I pray for you mothers. I pray for you women. Every weakness in your life Every weakness in your body, Amen. God is turning it to strength now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. out of your weakness shall come forth strength. Amen. By grace, out of your weakness shall come forth might. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. I speak strength into your bodies. Amen. I speak strength into your soul. Amen. I speak strength into your spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. no more weakness in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. glory to God. Hallelujah. Number three, I want to pray for you mothers. You see, the joy of mothers is to see their children and their children's children do well and be alive and well in the day of glory of their children. Mothers, I pray for you. In the day of the glory of your children, you will not be absent. Amen. You will not be replaced. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord will preserve you. Amen. The Lord will protect you. Amen. The Lord will defend you. Amen. You will see the joy and the glory of your children. Amen. And you will be a partaker of the same. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God forever. Hallelujah. Number four, I want to pray for you women. That God Almighty will prosper you. Amen. You will not look to us men before you do something great in life. Amen. Yes, we as men will be responsible. We'll be responsible husbands, responsible fathers. We will provide for our homes. But you see, God wants to prosper the women as well. In Luke chapter 8, reading from verse 1 to 3, it was part of where we read. The Bible tells us of some women who we are sustaining, sponsoring, supporting Jesus Christ and his ministry with their resources. With their resources. That's why Jesus could ask that Samaritan woman, give me a drink. That's why they say Mary Magdalene can bring a box of alabaster oil. Very precious, very costly, and broke it and poured it on Christ because she has more than enough. Mothers, I pray for you today. Amen. The Lord will prosper you. Amen. The Lord will bless you. Amen. You will be like trees planted by the riverside. Amen. You will bring forth your fruit in season. Amen. Your leaves are not wither. Amen. Whatever you do will prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you will blossom. Amen. You will flourish. Amen. And you will prosper. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. The works of your hands are blessed. Amen. Whatever you lay your hands to do is blessed. Amen. And it will prosper. Amen. In the name 
of Jesus Christ. Amen. Women, we have just had. You have a race to run. You have a task to accomplish. Amen. And I pray for you today. Amen. Grace to run this Christian race. Amen. Grace to accomplish your God-given task. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Women, you will shine. Amen. Women, you will blossom. Amen. Women, you will prosper. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Grace to receive. Amen. And to accomplish God's plan and purpose for your life. Amen. Is released upon you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. In the, name of Jesus. the crux of our teaching to us this morning is that mothers, women who have been raised from grass unto grace. Mm. And she told us clearly a grass experience or situation is that which men pity, is that which men gather and bonds because it's useless, it's, it's, it accomplishes nothing. Mm. Women, I pray for you today. That you are being lifted by grace Amen. from every pitiable situation Amen. to an enviable position Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The hand of the Lord is lifting you Amen. out of every pit where there is no water, Amen. out of every pitiable circumstance. You are lifted. You are lifted. You are lifted. You are promoted Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And finally, I pray for you, women. You will not become a sudden widower. Amen. It is Mother's Day. Amen. It is Mother's Day. Amen. Mothers are mothers because they have a husband. They have a husband, a partner, together with whom she becomes a mother. And they a father. I pray for you today, Amen. mothers, Amen. that you will not become a sudden widower. Amen. You're a widow. Amen. Your husband will not become a sudden widower. Amen. You will not become a sudden widow. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God will preserve your husbands. Amen. God will preserve you, mothers. Amen. God will preserve your children. Amen. God will preserve your heritage. Amen. God will preserve your inheritance. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By this time next year, mothers, God will change your levels. Amen. Grace will change your levels. Amen. You will have risen a thousand times more. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now I pray for our single sisters who are trusting the Lord to be married. So they also can become mothers. The Lord will connect you. Amen. The door to your marital destiny is open right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will deliver you, single sisters and brothers, Amen. from making error Amen. of choice. Amen. You will not make an error of choice Amen. in who you are going to get married Amen. to. Amen. God will give you a glorious future Amen. with a godly partner Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will be divinely connected. Amen. You will be supernaturally connected Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whoever is the bone of your bone the and the flesh of your flesh, Amen. according to the will of God, Amen. Go now and be connected. Amen. Go now and be found. Amen. Go now and be settled. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By this time of next year. Hallelujah. When we will be celebrating another Mother's Day. Amen. All the mothers, all the wives. Amen. That are looking unto God for the fruit of the womb. Amen. You will become a joyful mother. Amen. You are declared a joyful mother. Amen. Hey, let your wombs open now. Amen. Let your wombs open now. Amen. 
the strength to conceive Amen. is released upon you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By this time of next year, Amen. everyone that is stand barren today, God is giving you a new name. Amen. God is giving you a new song. Amen. And God is giving you a great testimony. Amen. You are declared joyful mothers. Amen. Go and conceive. Amen. Go and bring forth. Amen. Go and conceive. Amen. Go and bring forth. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your name, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. Amen. We ask that none of us will abuse your grace. Amen. We ask that none of us will abuse your grace. Amen. Oh, my Father, that we will do something glorious. Amen. With the grace you have given us. Amen. With the grace we have received. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mama asks, what am I doing with grace? What am I doing with grace? Mary recognized the voice of grace as she ran at the voice of grace to bring the message of grace to the brethren. The woman of Samaria ran at the voice of grace to bring the man unto Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Amen. that grace will locate you Amen. and grace will not be in vain in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You see the book of Jonah chapter 2 verse 8 He said those who cling to worthless idols who cling to their own ways they forfeit the grace the mercy that is available for them. Grace is available for us. Amen. Grace is available Amen. for us Amen. as people of God. Amen. Christ has died. Amen. Christ has been buried. Amen. Christ has resurrected. Amen. Christ has ascended. Amen. And he has brought grace unto us. Amen. He has brought grace unto us. Amen. So grace is available. Amen. Grace is available. Amen. All you need to do to come into grace, Amen. to obtain this grace, is not to is for you not to cling to your own ways. Mary Magdalene didn't cling to the demons when Jesus came to rescue her. The Samaritan woman didn't cling to her ways when Jesus came to rescue her. Rahab the Alot, she didn't cling to her ways. When the master came through the spies to rescue her, she embraced grace. Amen. She embraced grace. Amen. She found grace. Amen. And grace transformed her life. Amen. Grace is available to you. Amen. If you have not known Jesus, In the name of Jesus, don't continue to cling to your ways of sin. Amen. Don't continue to cling to your ways of idolatry. Amen. Don't continue to cling to your ways of unbelief. Amen. Embrace grace today. Amen. And let grace change your life. Amen. Embrace grace today. Amen. And let grace transform your life. Amen. And so if you're there, you are not born again. You have not come into this life of grace. I'd like to pray with you. Can you just say with me, Heavenly Father, I accept Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. For I believe with my heart Amen. and I confess Him with my mouth Amen. as the Savior of my soul. Amen. Today I declare Amen. my faith in Jesus Amen. and that I will serve Him Amen. for the rest of my life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, Amen. grace and truth has come unto you. Amen. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Amen. And so Jesus, the truth, Jesus, full of grace, Amen. has come into your heart. Amen. And your life is changing. Amen. Beginning from today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you for watching this broadcast. Amen. We believe that you are going to walk with the truth you have learned from this broadcast today and that your life 
will never be the same again. Amen. Don't forget to share it on your platform and to give people opportunity to be blessed by the same. Amen. You want to give your offerings? You want to pay a tithe? You want to sow a seed and be a blessing to the ministry that God has given to us? The account details of the ministry are on the screen at the top of this broadcast. Please make use of those platforms and give an offering Amen. and pay a tithe and sow a seed. Amen. And the Lord will bless you Amen. and increase you more and more Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This broadcast comes to you every Monday, Friday, and Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by 4 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. And on Sundays by 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Till I come your way again tomorrow when we'll be bringing another message of grace. Please stay strong, stay blessed, and stay safe. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all our mothers. Enjoy grace Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you.